One of the things you guys will notice about Trump is you can always tell when he doesn't really care about an issue because his heart's not in it. He just goes through the motions. So a great example of that is every time he was asked some question about religion back in 2016. Remember, he was asked like his favorite Bible verse and he was like, I don't want to get into that. I think that's very personal. I'm not really going to get into that. And he's like, what, New Testament, Old Testament? He's like, I think both. I think both. Uh, he went to Liberty University and gave a speech and he said, two Corinthians. So th there was always this element of like, he doesn't know shit about the Bible. He's not religious, but he's just going through the motions and pretending to be religious. There's that famous tweet where people are, you know, making fun of him and <laughs> Trump's like waving around a Bible like, you idiots love this shit, don't you? Don't you love this? And that really is the vibe when Trump talks about religion. Okay, now, having said that, we got a new issue here where Trump's heart isn't in it, but he's trying to go through the motions and throw the red meat to the base. But to say this is a swing and a miss is a massive understatement. This is a, a whiff of epic proportions. So he's going to talk about trans issues and listen to what he says. Things that almost nobody in this room wants, who I think 85, 90 percent of the country doesn't want if they actually I absolutely agree it. with you. But uh, the transgender thing is incredible. Think of it. Your kid goes to school and comes home a few days later with an operation. The school decides what's going to happen with your child. And, you know, many of these childs, 15 years later, say, what the hell happened? Who did this to me? Your kid goes to school. They come home a couple days later with an operation, a trans surgery. I don't even know what to say. I... Even the gaggle of anti-trans idiots that are online would not make such a preposterous claim. This is such a brazen lie. <laughs> Your kid goes to school, they come back a couple days later, and they had a trans surgery, and the school decides, and they don't tell the parents, and that's what happened. These people are living on a fucking different planet, bro. These people are living on a different planet. You want to know how many times that's happened in U.S. history? Zero. Donut. Nada. Nothing at all. Ever. Never. It has never happened that a kid has gone to school and come back a couple days later and they chopped off their dick and balls. It has never happened that a kid has gone to school and they come back a couple days later and a, a girl chopped off her titties. This has never once happened in the history of the United States Probably in the history of the world, this has never fucking happened. But this is what it sounds like when, he, you know, okay, my base loves this dumb stuff. But by, by the way, Trump back in the day, before this became a big fad online to be anti-trans, Trump, very famously, when he was the head of, what was it, uh, Miss America or Miss Universe, he was the head of one of those pageants, right? He like owned the pageant. And uh, he allowed in a trans woman. And then when there was pushback, he was like, no, nah, we're going to keep her in. And this is, you know, this is how he was back before this became a fat online. He, he was a New Yorker. So to him, it's just like, yeah, whatever. Okay, there's a trans person. Does she look like a girl? Does she look like a girl? Okay, so then what's the problem? I don't see a problem. He very famously said that Caitlyn Jenner, she can use every bathroom she wants at Trump Tower. I don't care. Right? This is what he said back then. Then now it becomes fashionable to shit on trans people online. And to be fair, he did, he banned trans people from the military when he was president. Remember that? But now, like, he feels like, I got to lean into this because it's red meat for my base. You know, your kid, they go to school, they come back days later, they have a surgery, they have a surgery. It's unbelievable. This is right up there with the fucking dumbass story that duped a lot of silly people where you're like, oh, I have a friend who identify, has who his wife's a teacher and she says that some of the kids identify as furries and they put litter boxes in the school bathroom. Totally fucking made up. Totally fucking made up. And that lie spread around the world, around the United States. You had people bringing this up. As, Can you believe they put the litter boxes for the furries in the bath? Didn't happen. Totally made up. Not true. False. That's what this is, too. Kid goes to school, comes back a couple of days later. Where'd their dick go? Where'd their dick go? Little Johnny's dick is not there anymore. Could you believe this? Do you believe they chopped off little Johnny's dick and didn't tell his parents that they chopped off his dick? Can you believe that? It's really unbelievable. 
These Democrats, that's what they want. That's what they want. All right. So just to, I don't even know why I bother to like, let me give you some actual information now in response to this absolute frothing at the mouth lunacy. But uh, I'll show you these numbers because I showed you them before. This is how many uh, trans kids are in the country. Ready? So first of all, how many kids are in this country under the age of 18? 72 million. There are 72 million, roughly, kids under the age of 18 in the United States of America. Of those kids, 42,167 ha have gender dysphoria, right? So are trans. Out of 72 million, 42,000. All right, more. How many kids in this country are on puberty blockers? You ready? Remember, 72 million kids in this country. 1,390 are on puberty blockers. More. Hormone therapy. 4,231 kids are on hormone therapy. Again, 72 million in total there are. And then finally, I love this. How many have had surgeries? You ready? 282. Out of 72 million kids in this country under the age of 18, 282 have had surgery. Now, by the way, there's a massive asterisk in this conversation as well because they don't do bottom surgery for kids. They don't. So th these are all top surgeries. 282 out of 72 million. The idea that this is like an epidemic and it's a social contagion and kids are just becoming trans in order to like fit in, bro, and be cool, bro. I don't buy that. But even to the extent you want to say some of it, that is the case. Those are not going to be the kids who get a surgery. And those are not even going to be the kids who take some hormones or puberty blockers or anything like that. They'll dress as the opposite gender for a year and then tap out if they're not actually trans, right? But I don't even buy, oh, it's a social contagion and all these kids are doing it just to fit in. This, this is all utterly made up. It's shamelessly made up. And this is, this is the logical endpoint, right? The idiot Donald Trump talking in an interview and saying, this is crazy, but kids will go to school and then come back a couple of days later and they had a surgery. It's unbelievable. <laughs> there, of these 282 who actually got surgeries, 282 kids out of 72 million, 282 of them had consultations with a doctor, conversations with the parents, got them involved, tried to find the best path forward, etc. These are good faith efforts for people with severe gender dysphoria on how to address it, right? God, I... But it's all right. Look, hey, I shouldn't even be doing this segment because Don, by all means, proceed. I don't know if you guys remember this, but in the midterms in 2022, they did, uh, Republicans did run ads like trying to fear monger over trans stuff. And it didn't work. It didn't work. It flopped massively, just like the crime fear mongering uh, failed massively, just like Republicans being extreme on abortion failed massively. Just like the election denialism failed massively. This is another one of those things, but he's just throwing red meat to his base about the uh, phantom non-existent kids who go to school and come back with their dick chopped off. I'm sorry, but final point. Think of how much a su of a sucker you have to be to believe that. To believe that and think, yeah, that's a thing that's happening. How fucking too, how far gone are you with internet brain worms where you think for even a second, this is a real thing? How far gone would you have? You would have to be insanely far gone. Insanely far gone. But a lot of people are. In the case of Trump, he's probably lying and he knows it's not really true, but he's just trying to throw red meat to his base so he's saying it. But clearly his heart's not in it because he could have come up with a better line of bullshit than your kid goes to school and gets their dick chopped off. <laughs> like, what? Are you out of your mind? Yes. The answer is yes. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop and watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.